Hello fellow engineers and oh look at that that's a nice tension bridge sorry and welcome to poly bridge 2 yes it's been a while since we played this but I'm still back determined to complete the secret levels by clicking on this little flower down here because yes today we are continuing the polyception the poly bridge classic worlds that are remade within poly bridge 2 now last time we were in the desert winds world 2 and we got to level 29 a sloped drawbridge but first I'd like to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor YouGov. Now you may have heard of YouGov before. If you've ever seen like a news article or website where you see stats that help back up the news article, like for example, 100% of architects are idiots. But did you know the people included in those polls actually get paid to do it? So basically you just take online surveys to earn points and gain cash rewards. There's surveys and polls from everything from public affairs and politics to brands and products. It's free to join and as a member you earn points for completing short surveys and answering questions via their website or app. You'll also earn bonus points for completing your first survey and you'll also be rewarded for recommending YouGov to friends and family. So perhaps you want to have a go at the polyception, you can use YouGov to fund your next video game purchase. So go and click the link in my description box to start making money. And meanwhile, thank you to YouGov for sponsoring today's video. Look at this lovely bridge I made for you. Right, so we're in level 29, a sloped drawbridge. We've got a 50 grand budget and what the frig, why are there so many boats? <laughs> Look at that! Also, does anyone else see the strongest shape there? Is that just me? Uh, but anyway, right, okay. So this is called a sloped drawbridge. Basically, we've got to do a drawbridge because we need to get this star in the middle. And the reason it's sloped is because, look, we start down here, but we end up up there. So ordinarily, I would try and do like a bridge that would sort of just dodge everything and get around. Don't think that's going to be possible, although I'll be intrigued to see the gallery to see if anyone managed to do that. I think we're actually going to have to do a drawbridge. No! If we grab the line tool and a road, and then we go over to about there, and we can fill that in, and then we do another line up to there and fill that in. So I think that's all the road we need. Now we just need a way of sort of pivoting this. So I might do like an arch from there, perhaps to there. Yeah, let's fill that in with wood. Right, and I think that's sort of our basis of the bridge so if we let's just delete that piece if we do a triangle under there and we'll try and do this a little bit better can we connect that up yes we can that might hold it probably won't but then we need to think about how we're going to get these out the way so what i'm thinking is we just do like a little truss there and if we make this a truss over the top so a bit of a banana then another truss along that it, and then we put some sort of muscly thing perhaps like that like a double muscle make it nice and small and then if we grab our curve tool and we'll say go over to there perhaps something a bit like that fill that in so let's just triangle all of this up it never really works doing the curves first I find we always have to do that in fact do we even need to do curves or like a straight one might work right so i think we're probably going to need an extra sort of support under there so i think maybe we'll go like that and then down there's blatantly gonna have to be a muscle like that all right so let's try that oh god that didn't work at all <laughs> so i was thinking we we have some sort of hydraulic like hanging there maybe so if we just try that for now oh god uh so that broke okay we can just steal the edge of that up that should fix things okay so it looks like it holds oh god that went up to like 98 Okay, but it does hold. Next, we're going to need some way to get this out the way. And I feel like trying to go down is just not going to work. So perhaps we're going to have to go up. And if we want to go up, we probably don't want to go from there. I tell you what, actually, I feel like this is a bit of a silly idea. I was trying to like do like a split drawbridge, but I should probably just like lift it up from there. I could just do like a hydraulic muscle. Yeah, sod that. Okay. Let's get rid of this stupid arch. Get rid of all of that, all of that, all of that. All right, let's do this again, engineer style. All right, okay, so we've got this far. Now I'm just sort of thinking, can I do some sort of lifty uppy thing over here? So what if we were to build up there? We'll get rid of that piece and swap it with a bit of rope. We'll do some rope there and then a hydraulic there. Oh God, I've got to put a joint in there. So that's two, 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 one, one. Okay. We'll try that. Not at all. Okay, we'll go underneath and we'll try and push. To go under there and we'll change the hydraulic to expand. Right, ready? Damn it. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. What if we put the hydraulic there on expand? It's going up. 
It is going, I don't think that's high enough in the slightest. Oh dear, not at all. Unless we were to like rejig the road, go out the way a bit more. Is that likely to work? It's a bit of a lump now. Oh no, that's really vibrating. Make those trusses a bit bigger. We're really cheap. I feel like we're doing okay 30 grand out of 50. I should probably just try and get it to work first and then work backwards. All right, so a bit of trial and error later and we can get over the bridge, okay? The question is, will this lift it out of the way? Uh, it's gone reasonably high. Oh, but not high enough. Look, that side. If we were to raise those like there, if we could get that to work, I think it would work. <laughs> Surprisingly. All right, ready? Is that high enough? Oh, that is so close. It's not quite high enough, though. Damn it. If we can just lift that end up, because that will pivot everything, surely. All right, how's that then? I've lifted up this node, so the entire thing should be a bit higher. Oh, it's so close. Right, we're going to have to try and make this go higher. All right, how about that? I've connected this hydraulic to the top node there. So that should go way higher. Yes, it's gone higher. We're at 200% speed for some reason. Question is, will it lock in? It's locked in. The car's going over. We've done it. <laughs> that took way longer than it should have done. Yes, yeah, so what were we? 34,000? I feel like that is absolutely shocking. Let's go have a look in the gallery and see how we did. So, oh, look, we're on the first... Oh, we're not on the first page. We're on the second page. We're on the second page. Okay, so first page, what was the cheapest solution? Bacon pancakes. Ooh, cheeky. Okay, so a bit of a seesawing pivoting action from over... That's probably a more sensible place to do the hydraulic from, because then it's structural. All right, this one's really cheap, but it has two hydraulics. That's interesting. How do they work then? Oh, they like lift and rotate. Good work, Adrigan. Uh, this one is pretty cool angle, lazy comet. Using a little bit of modding there. Oh, it goes down into the water. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. And then this one, he's got a little bit of a bump like I did as well. Although, oh yeah, look, there you go. That's why he had a bump. Do you see where that boat was? Nice. The old, the old tension crane solution thing. I like that. And that looks like a dinosaur tail as well. <laughs> uh, that must be the messiest truss I've ever seen. It looks, oh, I say messy. That's like the neatest solution I've ever seen. That's sort of like what I was trying to do at the beginning like a lot more clever all right what even is that like what why is that dangling down uh, <laughs> looks like a teapot oh is it an elephant is that an elephant was that just me seeing an elephant that's quite a cool idea though the old curling bridge yeah uh, someone just went brute force and steeled it the entire way so i assume whoa the entire bridge lifts up both sides oh is that a knob it's a knob that's a knob <laughs> good work vanquish wow that was really impressive all right what is this one is that meant to be something that looks like to hmm <laughs> i'm not sure if that's been done to look like something or whether it's just efficient design at its finest hello fellow engineers nice one epic tog oh nice little solution as well look at that oh we got hello fellow engineers again but all on one bridge look at all the rope that's that's dangling from how much does that cost a hundred grand exactly fair play and Tim Alito, this looks, I was going to say it looks quite phallic, but perhaps it's not. Perhaps that's just my imagination seeing things that I shouldn't be seeing. But <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of trust going on at that end. Interesting. And what the frig is this one? That's, what? What? That, <laughs> that, I'm sorry, that's just showing off. That's just showing off. You're not big and you're not clever, Palfly. Wait, well, you are pretty clever. You, you might be big, but uh. Frig me, fair play. That was a perfect rectangle around the boat. Right, on to the next level. Double overpass. This is level 210 from Polybridge 1. So the boats go, and then the car goes. So we've just got to do a bridge over there. And we've got some stuff in there. That seems a bit easy. Oh, we've only got wood. I mean, thankfully, I only really draw in wood anyway. Can we call it drawing? I only really design in wood anyway. Yeah, but let's... Fill that up nice. And I'm sort of thinking we go somewhat down there. Press right against that wall. Because that's going to be a bit of a wall brace. And if we do a curve down to like there-ish. Make that a little bit bigger. And I can just use that curve to draw a truss. So perhaps like that. And then we'll do the same over this side. I can probably just eye this in to be honest. So that sort of thing. I think think we're resting on that rock. It doesn't look like we are, but I think we actually are because it only works in 2D this game. Now, I have a feeling this will probably break. Oh, it slid. It slid. Oh, look. <laughs> T 
technically, we haven't failed the level. I feel like I need an extra piece here. I wonder if I can get like on that point. Could get to a spot where we don't move. Like, that looks pretty precarious, that support. Is it going to hold or is it? No, it slipped. It slipped. All right, okay, let's just do another one like that. And then we can sort of move that either side. So now that ain't going anywhere. That is wedged. So it's looking good. Stress is pretty high, but we did it. We did it. First time almost. I think that counts as first time, right? Uh, max stress was 96.9. So we got we got a 6 9 in there. So I think we're going to just go to the gallery and see how we got on. Our score was 11,814. So 11,800. Yes, we're on the first page. I will, of course, take that. Oh, look at all the cheap solutions. They went down. Because, yes, if you stay, if you keep your bridge low, you can use less pieces. So look at that. We've got like minimal support there. Oh, the bridge even moves a bit. But after a bit of patience, he's free and he's over. Max stress 99.7, but only 8,899 quid. Bargain. Uh, so all the cheap ones use that technique. Then we've got going on to my technique, which is the next price bracket. Uh, then we've got the people doing like trusses the entire way across, which is okay, but I think you can probably get rid of those middle ones, save a bit of cash. We've got this one where someone's used road and nothing but road. Uh, pretty cool, I like that. <laughs> bit different, a bit expensive. And then we've got the super efficient designs. So we've got this one, which is lovely. This one, which is beautiful and zooming in and out. That's not even me. Cheers, saving me a video editing job. And we've got this one, which is super efficient. And then finally we've got this one, which I'm quite intrigued about. There's question marks and carnage and... What? What? Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> what am I watching? How... What? Okay, so Luna Campley, I know that that's Arglin's account, so, um, what's, what's the max stress on that one? Oh yes, of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> right, so on to the next level. Lift me up. You lift me up. So, oh no, it's not lift, it's raise. Still, my point stands. My point stands. So, oh no, it's a bloody hydraulic level. Okay, grid on, that means. So we've got five pieces of road, which I assume gets us to there. So this is going to be build a lift sort of thing, I think. So we probably want to do that. And then if we shove a joint there and a joint there. Then all we need to do is the easy job of raising this up one. Now I've had lessons in hydraulics from Arglin, from Reed Captain, from a few other people of the community and it just won't stay in my head. I know there's something to do with like 45 degrees and trapeziums. So if I want that to go to there, I can do a 45 degree turn, something like that at 50% does something i don't know what i'm doing all right sod this i'm doing it the mat weight the bodging weight oh that's not far off that ain't far off is it <laughs> i mean i mean it sort of is all right i'll tell you what i'll tell you what we're doing this properly the mat weight so we need you to go straight ahead yeah what if we do it like that instead so i'm sort of doing like a half drawbridge so that goes up oh my god i've nearly done it i've nearly done it go on power power little car come on Oh, if I just do if I just do less expansion, we've done that. That's easy. I did a I did a hydraulic level. I'm gonna make that a bit smaller. What's the stress like? Oh, really low. I can make all of this really small. Oh, look at that. Look at the gap. First try. You bastard. All right, ready? I've done a bit of tweaking. I think we're pretty close. So it clips the start. Oh, I missed the start. And it didn't quite get across either. What if we speed that up? Bollocks. <laughs> All right, what we could do, maybe, is can I get it to, like, move right a little bit? So if we disconnect that, put a hydraulic there at full expansion, and then do road, and then do our truss. That will probably break straight away. Yeah, it does. So if I do a truss there to there, and then I make that a joint, and then I keep that locked, but that a two, that means that this will, like, drop and swing down. So you could say this is cheesing it, but I'm... Oh, it's still broke. All right, maybe not there then. Maybe not there. <laughs> oh, why isn't there ever an easy way to do these without using brains? What if we instead do like a thing underneath, but then we make that a hydraulic and expand and that a joint that disconnects apart from that one? This might work. I'm just thinking it might push the bridge forwards a bit. 
No. What if we keep that one connected? There you go. Then it will pivot. Okay, that could work. That could actually work. Right, ready? Oh. I know everything about bridges and hydraulics and stuff. I'm just trying to make this video look more accessible. Like, anyone can be an engineer. All right, that's definitely getting closer. All right, actually, if I move the hydraulic to there, or perhaps in the middle of this muscle, then when that contracts, they'll get longer, right? Yeah, so that goes across, and then look, when this stops there, that should push this node slightly to the right, meaning if we can get the star, the gap is smaller. Yes! 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 Oh! <laughs> I'm so pleased it's over. That was the worst level ever. Oh, 9,200. Let's see how we did in the gallery. We're not on the first page. We're not on the second page. We're on the third page. Okay. Oh, I'm looking at these. Look, most people just did a bloody... Oh, I could have done that. <laughs> Why was I overthinking it? Damn it. But the cheapest solution, no problem. It looks like you had no problem. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty much what I was trying to do. That actually clicked in. How the hell did they do that? So the first two are like that. This one does actually do flat and then goes up. How the frig? That must have just been like so much tweaking to get that to work. But I like to think that's exactly the same as my design. Right? Right? <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Anything good? Right, that, yeah, this is what I was thinking of someone would do. Oh, look, it's Bentley. This time he hasn't done a knob from the looks of things. Ooh, ooh. So he's done a crane and it did lock in. That's cool. I thought that would be like the intended solution type thing, but perhaps not. It just looks like a clever solution. Uh, what is going on with this one? That looks pretty complicated. I assume, is it just going to do... Oh, nice. Very nice. And it locked in. Beautiful. Oh, look, someone did that. Woolly frog. This is going to be a straight up sort of lift elevator type thing. It's a little bit rickety. Hello, dear. <laughs> but it locks in and we're good to go. Uh, now we're heading towards the meat of the solutions. Yes, <laughs> Micaiah. <laughs> oh, why didn't I do this? I knew the strongest shape was a solution. I just, I just couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. All right, so we got this one from Sean. <laughs> nice. Oh, there it is. Yeah, learn hydro from me on YouTube. <laughs> uh, nice bit of self promo there from Lazy Comet. Let's see how he does it then. If he's so clever. Okay, that's pretty good. Look, they're all different colours so you can see how it's all working and stuff. Nice. Uh, Smodgefield. Our favourite man is back. Oh, look at that. That is mental. It's like scissors working or something. <laughs> yes, duct tape ninja. Oh, it's extending. I love that that's the only replay that we see. Now, that's what you need to do, a bridge like this. Uh, this one, someone went mental with the trusses. I don't know if it was a joke or the name is just JK. But uh, pretty I probably would have done it that way when I first started Polybridge. But as you've just seen, I'm quite a pro at this now. I tend to use engineering a bit more. Now, what is this one, Alison? What is that load of red doing? Holy sh... Ooh. Was that a word? Wow, okay. Uh, What did we just watch there? Okay. Well, back to workshop. We only got three levels done there, but I am sweating from my brain. So we're going to leave it there for today, guys. Uh, thanks for boosting the old like button. If you want more Polybridge, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, peace, love, and actual bridges. Catch you guys next time. Bye.